Okay, hey you guys. Um, this is Until Death Do Us Part, episode 20. Now, you guys, before I even start, I'm gonna tell you now. Chain Reaction 2 is not out. Off my ass. I'm not, I do not publish this story. I don't have shit to do with that. I just wait for it to come out and I record. That's what I do. Okay? Alright. Now, it was supposed to come out today. But the episode team on that bullshit. So it might come out tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to be up all night though, you guys. Because I'm waiting. So. As soon as they post it, I will, you know, be uploading. Okay. I don't, I don't really. I don't. I don't really want to see no recap, though, boo. Okay. All right, all right. Oh my God! Yada yada yeah. Okay, so. Right, bitch. Okay, Alex, I mean, um, Valentina is. I don't think a real dramatic bitch. This is some bullshit. I'm pissed off. We'll find Alex the blood donor, don't, don't worry. Um, can't you or, you know, whoever the hell his mama donate? We can't. But Alex blood type is a negative. I'm A and Adeline is um, B negative. How's that possible? Sometimes parents with A and B blood types can produce kids with O blood type. Isn't that blood type very rare? Yeah, that's the problem. Bitch, what? Okay. Is there anyone you know with that blood type? N no, I don't. That's a weird reaction. Are you sure? Are you suggesting I'm being dishonest? Yes. Are you being dishonest? Why would I be dishonest about something like that? I don't know. You reacted very strangely just now. I'm just trying to pre prevent my son from dying. I don't think you are, girl. Do you think I would deprive my son of something that would save his life? Mm, if you're hiding something, probably. This isn't the time to <laughs> turn against each other, Valentina. We need to focus on finding a way to get Alex's blood he needs. I guess you're right. I'll call some guards to carry Alex's room. Y'all motherfuckers ugly. Ugly than a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna make some calls to the hospital. Maybe we can cash in some favors. So you can cash in some favors to the hospital, but you can't... Take him to the hospital. Bitch. Girl, I don't got no time for this shit. Why was Simon's acting so weird when I asked him if he knew anyone with a, with Alex blood type? He must be hiding something. Girl, Valentina, get your shit checked. Hell, y'all might be brother and sister. The way this shit is rolling. What the hell? I swear my son is so... He's so... Ugh. I don't have time to worry about that right now. Let's see. I should probably go sit with Alex. Uh, or maybe I should go check on Ralph. We'll go check on Ralph first. I'll go see how he fit. This nigga. This will definitely get Cleo's attention. Hey, Ralph, how are you feeling? I, I'm good. What about you? Why are you acting so weird? I'm not, I, 
I'm not acting suspicious. <laughs> You're the one acting suspicious. I didn't say you were acting suspicious, Ralph. Damn. What are you hiding behind your back? Nothing. Show me your hand. Show me your hand. <laughs> Ralph. Lift it up in one of his hands while keeping another one firmly behind his back. Both hands, Raphael. This boy right here. He know he's smart as hell. Is that my phone? Why the hell do you have my phone? No reason. Cleo, you need to come to my house. ASAP Rap is dying. Oh my god, I'm on my way, honey. Hang tight. You told Cleo that you were dying. What the hell, Raphael? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> What was it too extreme? <laughs> was it too extreme? Are you seriously asking me that? What are you thinking? I was feeling vulnerable. I want to ask Cleo out again. Why are you so obsessed with fucking Cleo? I thought you didn't like settling down. I thought so too, but Cleo's different for some reason. There's something about her. You need to get your shit together, sir. Why would you tell her that you were fucking dying? Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, there's no way in hell she's going to go out with you now. Why not? Technically, I am telling the truth. I almost died today. Please. It was just a flesh wound. Stop being a pussy. Meanie. <laughs> I can't believe you do something like this. She's not going to get mad, right? What do you think? What the fuck? No. Girl, you know that well. She should punch you in your face. <sighs> was I supposed to say yes? Of course, girl, you are. Cleo's gonna kill you once she finds out what you did. No worries, I'll use my charming, handsome face to make her forgive me. And she should punch you dead in your damn face. Yep, you're definitely dead. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Alex now. Now stay here, please. Maybe Cleo won't be that mad if you're here. Sorry, bro, you made your bed and I lay in it. Gotta go check on my damn husband. Alex was still unconscious. Every high-pitched beep on the heart monitor machine took my hope away. The spacing of each beep was getting farther apart with every minute that passed by. His heart rate was slowing down. I swallowed the thick lump in my throat and blinked, uh, back, blinked back the tears in my eyes. How do you do that, girl? You what? Okay. Lucy Alex was becoming more of a reality than a mere fear. I was losing Alex, and I couldn't do a damn thing about it. Can you get your damn blood, you know, checked, bitch? <laughs> now that Alex's shirt was off, I could see every gruesome cut on his body. He'd been tortured. It looked as if someone took a knife and brutally carved every inch of his body. I taste something salty against my lips and see, and I see a tear splash on the wooden floor. I touch my cheek in confusion and I'm surprised to feel them yeah. moist, fresh tears pouring on my eyes. I was crying. Great, I was crying. I hate crying. It makes me feel weak. And I need to be strong for Alex right now. Girl, not your feet on top of your feet. Alex, <laughs> we're going to find a way to save you. Just hang on. Please hang on. Stop. What are you doing? Like, you always doing some crazy shit. Jay, I miss you, Rosalyn. Oh, I miss your sweet little body. I want you to be mine again. How do you give a new number? I have ways, baby. Stop texting me, please. Hey, I mean it, Jay, or else. Yeah. Or what? Gonna tell mommy and daddy about me? Just leave me alone, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to talk to you. Yeah. Meet up with me. No. I'm not asking you, Rose. I'm telling you. And I'm telling you no. You don't control me anymore, Jay. Yeah. That authoritative yeah. shit doesn't scare me. That's where you're wrong, Rosa. I do. I, I control you. I own you. You'll always be mine. Oh, he has lost his goddamn mind. Don't text me again, bitch. Meet up with me tomorrow at Hard Rock Cafe. And I'll leave you alone. I promise. We both know you want to. Bro, Rose, if your stupid ass do it, I'm gonna just. You just deserve whatever the fuck happened. 
Will I ever be rid of him? Girl, no. Not if you take your stupid, silly ass to that damn location. Wait. Don't go. How you know I was here? I guess... Stop! I guess you couldn't say I've got good sleep. Is there anything you need from me, Miss Giovanni? Uh, no, not really. Why is he calling me Miss Giovanni? Wait, yes. Are Are you mad at me? No, why did you? I'm not mad at you, Ros Rosalind. Oh, Rosalind? I don't know. But I'm saddened by the low option you, opinion you have of me. Why? I thought you trusted me since we've been letting since you've been letting me help you with your ex boyfriend issues. But I guess I was mistaken. I do trust you, Fidel. You're the only person I trust. Oh yeah, then why am I hearing that you think I'm a mole? That you think that you think I'm betraying Alex? Ah, uh, did Valentina tell you that I said that? So you, I said that. Good. Sometimes I just want to wrangle her annoying little. Don't blame this on Val, Rosalind. Um, at least she had the decency to come talk to me rather than to make wild accusations. Wild accusations? What the hell am I supposed to think when you're hiding things from your boss? You're supposed to trust me. Mm, I apologize for raising my voice. What do you tell Alex? Why didn't you tell Alex about the green context, Fidel? Stop. Stop. No. Ain't no yeah. Stop. You being bad. I did it to protect Valentina. She's being, oh my God, it always goes back to her, doesn't it? Perfect little Valentina. Everyone wants to save precious fucking Valentina. You want her, don't you? What? No. Where the hell is this coming from? Don't insult my intelligence, Fidel. You want her. Everyone wants her. Who wouldn't want perfect Valentina uh, Rosalind? I understand why you want her. She's gorgeous, vibrant, innocent. Not the ugly, cold, and tainted girl I've become. What the fuck? Are you... You, you bitch, you about me to go, you know. See, you a shrink, girl. You got some shit going on. Who would want a flawed, fucks up girl like me? What are you talking about? Fidel, what are you doing? I don't want Valentina Rosa. I never have. I only worry about her because it's my job to protect her. And Rosa, you're not tainted and called. You're the most passionate, wholesome person. D really wholesome? Okay. Person he's ever met. And I wish you'd see that sometimes. I, I wish you would not lie to her. Really? Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, I agree. You have many, many flaws. But those flaws make you you. Mm -hmm. And as far as being ugly, you're the most gorgeous woman i ever seen in my life. Okay, not in your life, honey. You think I'm gorgeous? Yes, I do. Uh-huh. Her heart beating fast, y'all. No one has ever complimented her like that before. Mm, she felt the room heat up as Fidel inched closer and closer to her lips. Okay, so y'all kissing. Fidel's lips connected with Ralph's lips. <laughs> and oh my fucking god. Every time. It never fails. Every fucking time. Fuck out of here. She heard him sigh in relief. His, oh, he moved his lips, his, yeah, lips soft and gently against her own. Fidel Tadili wrapped his arms around Rosalind's waist and pulled her closer to his muscular body. Rosalind wrapped her arms around Fidel's neck and mm -hmm. <laughs> moaned quietly in pleasure. Okay. Fidel deepened their kiss and their tongues began to dance together in perfect harmony. Fidel pulled Rosalind even tighter against his body and started to kiss her at a much more affrontedly pace. Get that out of your fucking mouth. Stop. You're doing the most at the moment. Mister. Um, she returned his heated kiss. Um. Stop. Stop it. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Give me, give me that shit. Because you're just fucking nasty now. 
You know, you're dead. You're dead, man. Papa, stop being so dram so damn dramatic. Why are you licking me? Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you, kid? You are so gross. You are so gross. Stop licking oh, yeah. me. Yeah, you're nasty. Baby. Nasty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rosalind, you better watch him out before I do something you uh before I do something to you I'll regret. We ain't gonna do shit. And you, Callahan's puppet, who the fuck do you think you are laying your filthy, perverted hands on my daughter? I have I could have you killed for this, you know. Defend him. Papa, leave him alone. How could you say something so vile to Fidel? How could you treat another human being like that? Well, it's okay. No, Fidel, it's not. Why are you here, Papa? Like, what the fuck do you want, anyway? The reason I'm here is to tell Fidel that Simon needs him at his office. What does he need me for? Why don't you go and see for yourself, dog? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't wait on low-ranked soldiers like you. Bitch, I'll go see what he wants. Before Fidel could exit the room, Bakara grabs him around the back of his neck in a forceful grip and pins Fidel closer to his mm -hmm. closer to his mouth. If you touch my if you touch my daughter again, I'll personally skin you alive. Capiche? <sighs> what? You're such a disappointment to me, Rosalyn. A bitch, fuck you. You're a disappointment to me. You hear me, sir? Uh, yes. As you know, Alex was badly injured tonight and a tremendous amount of blood. Well, Dr. Needs, Alex. Uh, need, wait. The doctor tells me that Alex needs a blood transfusion quick or he'll die. I tried to call in some favorites at the hospital, but they don't have enough of Alex's blood type to give me. What type of hospital doesn't have enough blood? Alex's type is O negative. It's very rare, and they don't have enough. Forgive me, sir, but I don't understand what you want me to do. I need you to donate blood to Alex. Me? But, sir, how could I donate? Because you have the same blood type as Alex. I do? How do you know that? Why? How do you know that? When we hire you, I made sure that you had the same blood type as my son in case of emergencies like this. You know I'll do it by all means, but why didn't you come to me immediately? I guess it slipped my mind. I'll do it, sir. You know I'll do anything for this fucking family. Move, move. So you got too much shit going on. Ouch. Um, thank you for your loyalty. Dallas, get off of me. What the hell? Now let's go get you hooked up to the floor bag. Um, why is Simon acting so suspicious? Um, meanwhile, oh damn, it's always a meanwhile. I thought this was the end. I thought this was the freaking end. Let's see. I've been standing here and watching Alex sleep for like the past 15 minutes. God, I'm a creep. I spaced out, um, I spaced out infrequent beeps of this heart monitor machine told me that time was running out. <laughs> Where's, where was Simon? He has gotten the blood, yeah, wait, has he gotten the blood, yeah. Um, oh my god. Oh, you got who you, girl? Oh, his mama. Wait, wait, what happened? Oh, my baby boy. You. Me? You did this to Alex. What? This is all your fault. <laughs> you whoring Italian cunt. Okay. Did this bitch just call me a cunt? What did you just call me? You heard me. 
Oh, girl, no, I didn't. Repeat that one more time for me, girl. Because I didn't hear it. Run it by me one more. You have no business barging into my room, accusing me of foul things and calling me vile names. Your son is dying, but you can't put your pretty beef uh, with me aside, your petty beef <laughs> with me aside for one night. How dare you call me the wife of your future? Wait, of your future, I don't know what that is. Capo? Such an ugly word. Your future kids? I don't know. It's not my fault you can't handle the truth, sweetheart. Ooh. I swear, you you might be 55, but you act like you're 14. I'm 42, you. Careful. And most mafia families talking to a couple to a wife like this could get you killed. What? Is that a threat? Not at all, but it is a warning. Okay. <sighs> You're not the couple's wife yet. Valentina still had a little uh, appetite. Sure enough. Um. Why are you messing with stuff? <laughs> Why are you messing with stuff? <laughs> and you've got to learn to accept that. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Alex and I are married. Whether you like it or not, it's time you and your you put wait. It's time you put your hate aside. Hey, boy, hate for me aside, so we can finally be a family. And if I don't, then I won't let you near any el- of Alex and I's future grandkids. What future kids? <laughs> Oh, you're mad. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can, girl. I can and I will, honey. <laughs> this is far from over, Giovanni. <laughs> Actually, it's Callahan now. Oh, you're mad, girl. <laughs> God, I hate that woman. <laughs> uh, when you wake up, we're going to have a serious talk about <laughs> about your bitch of a mother. Okay. Not you talking about your fucking mother. Stop, Dallas. Guys, I'm trying to put this back together. Okay. Let's see. Suddenly, that Latina hears a rapid knocking on the door. Most certainly, Cleo at the front door. Has to be Clee Clee. Hey, turn up, y'all. Now, after this, I'm about to, y'all better hope, like, here, like, the <laughs> chain reaction is out. Oh my god, like, it's just stressing me out. She's knocking. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, oh my god, Valentina. Oh, clear. I came as soon as I got your text. I'm about that text. How's Raphael? What happened to him? Is he healed? No, clear. The thing is. Oh my god, is Raphael, is Raphael dead? <laughs> no, clear. Just listen to me. I had. I haven't had my phone on me the entire day. When did I get this text? Raphael took. Uh, Rafael took my phone and sent that to you. He was trying to get your attention or something like that. Uh, so he's not dying? No, I'm sorry he wasted your time. Where's that Latina? Like, where's her body? Your brother's dead me, pal. Rest in peace, Rafael. Dr. Shut the shit. Kalia, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Cussing his ass out, but Raphael could. But before Raphael could get the last word out of his senses, Cleo punched him in the shoulder hard, specifically the part the shoulder with a flesh <laughs> gunshot wound. Shit, <laughs> my punch didn't hurt that much. Stop overreacting. Yeah, it would have. It wouldn't have hurt if I hadn't gotten shot earlier on the, tonight. You got shot? Don't worry about me. It's only a flesh wound. I'm not worried about you. Oh yeah, while you're here. Because you sent me a false text that you were dying. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you asking me to be your ass? <laughs> Maybe he is. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say to a dying man. Well, shut up. Um, Why would you text me something like that? To get your attention, plus I wanted you to come over. I've heard, ever heard of saying, hey, want to come over? <laughs> you wouldn't have come over if I asked. Well, now you'll never know, huh? 
I was in the middle of a photo shoot when you sent that text, you know, so thanks. I'm glad to know you care about me that much. <laughs> I only came here because I thought you were, your sister needed me, not because I care about you. Ouch, you're breaking my heart, babe. Don't call me babe. Fuck is wrong with you? Since you're obviously not dying, I'm gonna leave. No, wait. Yeah. Please stay. Why? Because I like you being around. Wait, because I like being around you. And I have chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream in the fridge. That's my favorite ice cream. We could watch a uh, team move on my laptop. Wow. Oh my god. No. Like, what the fuck? Be wrong with these people. God fucking damn. Can't never do shit. <laughs> and then you gonna call right back. No. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> but only but I'm only doing this because of Dylan O'Brien. And not because of your little ugly ass girl. Damn she looks good in my bed. That's not your bed though. I wish she was naked and uh -huh, and my cover's waiting for me too. Are you coming or are you gonna continue to fantasize about me? I'm coming. Oh him. G G G G G. Alex's heart rate was ex exceedingly slow. Um, it was only a matter of time, minutes before he was gone. Tears fell down my raw eyes as I saw broke out in my throat. Alex, please don't die, need you. Please don't die. Well, we had the blood. You do? Yes. Thank God for Jesus. Watch her butt out. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Well, I think no one was able to do the blood transfusion and stitch Alex back up. I don't think I've ever been so relieved in my whole life. He was going to live. Alex wasn't going to die. My heart practically danced with joy. Okay. Why is he waking up? I gave him some strong medication so he won't be in too much pain. It might take a few a few days. Bitch, what you can, bitch? So I have to wake up. Make sure you change his bandages, bandages twice a day. Make sure his heart rate is steady and he's breathing properly. Contact like me if anything changes in his condition. Okay, girl. <sighs> I'm gonna wait right here until you wake up, Alex. You have to wake up. You can't just storm into my life, make me care about you, then leave me. <laughs> you can't just make me fall for you, then fucking leave me. I swear, Alex Benjamin, hell here, honey. Oh, whole government, honey. If you don't wake up out here, you forever. Oh, I should have put this in the fridge earlier. I climb into bed with Alex and cuddled up into his warm chest. I lay a soft kiss on his lips before I lay back down on his chest and fall in deeper and went into deep slumber. Oh. Oh y'all, he's gonna have my love. Alright, yay. And that's it, you guys.